Okay, ladies and gents, this is the first of two clips on the traveling salesperson problem. And in this clip, we're going to have a straight look at the application of the nearest neighbor algorithm. And what that will do, that's going to find us a tour that takes in every node exactly once and gets us back to the place where we started. Now, the nearest neighbor algorithm is an example of what we in mathematics call a greedy algorithm. Now, there's a simple way that I remember that which is just to think of Mr. Greedy from the Mr. Men. Now, the nearest neighbor algorithm is very simple. You literally visit the node that's nearest to you. So a node you're at, you follow the shortest route. When you get to that node, you follow the shortest route, and so on and so on, until you get back to where you started. OK, then. So we're going to apply the nearest neighbor algorithm from node A. So we're going to be starting there. And literally all we do is we look at the weights of the arcs coming off A. So it's 9, 29, 27, and we choose the least. So we go A to B, which is 9. We then get there, and again, we have to examine the weights of the arcs. So we're at B, and we've got a choice of 37 or 16. We choose the least, and we go down to D. We're then at no D. And we've got a choice of 28, 31, 14, 18. We choose the least, which takes us down to node F. Same choices, 22, 20, 26. We take the least, that gets us to node G. Same choices again, 31, 23. So we take the 23. We're now at node E, so we look at the weights. We've got 37, 28, 26. We take the 26 round there, which would get us to F. But we've actually run into a problem here that we've already been to node F. So this isn't actually an example of the nearest neighbor algorithm failing, which is a really important thing because the ne nearest neighbor algorithm doesn't work every time. What we're going to do now is we're going to go back to this network, but we're going to we're going to go from node B and just to see what happens this time. Okay, so we're now going to apply the nearest neighbor algorithm starting from node B. So we look at the weights. We've got 9, 16, 37. So we do the 9. We then we're at node A and we've got 29, 27. So we take the least and we continue just as before. So we're at C and we've got a choice of 18 and 22. So that takes us up to D. Same as before, we're at D. We've now got a choice of 28, 31, 14. So we take the least, which brings us down to node F. At F, we've got a choice of 20, 26. So that takes us up to G. Now at G, we've got a choice between 31, 23. And that takes us up to E. Now we've reached node E. And it's the case that we've visited every node. We've been to B, to A, to C, to D, to F, to G, to E. So to complete the tour, we just return home along there, back to B, which is where we started. Now the key thing is, um, we actually need to note down what the tour is and its weight. So we went B to A to C to D to F to G to E and back to B. And then we need to write down the weight which just comes from the 9, the 27, the 18, the 14, the 20, the 23, and the 37. So we can write down the weight of the tor, which is 148. And that's a simple example of applying the nearest neighbor algorithm to solve the traveling salesperson problem.
As always, I hope you found this clip interesting and informative. If there's any problems, please don't hesitate to get in touch.